Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So, since the first time I created with the springy afro twist turned out so cute, I decided to use it again for my version of the afro cuff. This time I'm using the 16 inch version of the springy afro twist. You get three bundles in a pack and I used one pack for this style. You're also going to need two make your own ponytail holders. I got mine at my beauty supply store and you're going to need a crochet needle. Now this is what the holder looks like out of the pack. It has a drawstring on it so you can secure it nice and tight so your ponytails are very secure. And now you just want to crochet the hair to the cap and we're only going to crochet hair around the perimeter. Now, remember you're gonna cinch the cap down and so there's a band right along the edge. You wanna start crocheting the hair right above that band in the space right here. And you do wanna separate this hair or it won't fit through the holes in the net. And I'm gonna insert the crochet needle into about three of the holes in the net. So the important thing is to remember to hold the net when you're pulling the hair through because the net is very fragile and you don't wanna pop a hole in it. Now here you're gonna see me pull the entire strand through the net and then knot the hair. But I found out it's a lot easier if you just pull one tail through the loop and then cinch the hair down. So watch this clip, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna show you that one more time just to make sure you got it. And this also gives you a good idea of where I stopped crocheting hair on the cap. Now this is what the ponytail should look like when you're finished. You can see the hair that we crocheted around the perimeter covers the center of the ponytail. And for me, it provided enough coverage. You can always install more hair if you like. So the next step is to prep my hair and install these big, beautiful Afro puffs. So I thoroughly wet my hair because I get the best results. It just lays flatter when I have to put it in a ponytail. And now I'm just gonna part it straight down the middle so I can put it in two low ponytails. And so I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair first with the uh, Mio uh, Twisting Souffle. This is the part of the pomegranate and honey line. About once a week or so, I like to oil my scalp and moisturize my hair really well. I hydrate every couple of days if I'm wearing an updo or something like that, but moisturizing once a week keeps my hair really healthy. And I'm gonna gently detangle, starting with the ends and gradually moving up the hair shaft. So this is going to help my hair lay really flat in the finished style. And it's also distributing the product along my entire hair strand from root to tip. And you know the ends of your hair are the oldest part and so they require the most care. I love to use the Eco Styling Gel. This has the black castor and flaxseed oil. Um, I use this every day to just relay down my edges and it never flakes and it's not drying at all. It keeps my hair really moisturized and I love the way my hair reacts to it. Just gonna brush it down with my brush, get it nice and flat. Oh, the brush feels so good on my scalp. Oh. Whew, child. And then these are the hair bands that I use. Um, they have some cloth over. I never use rubber bands. They are so damaging to your hair. All right. And I'm just gonna twist this. Actually, I'm gonna braid it. The braid actually holds better than the twist, especially when you have a ponytail that you're gonna be taking on and off. The braid's just a little more durable. And I'm gonna tuck it underneath the band. Now here's where I'm gonna go in and just add some more gel, just to really smooth out the edges. And it just makes the look, the finished look, just look so polished. Back, back here, my kitchen. 
<laughs> Gotta have that kitchen type, ladies. You know what I'm talking about. And again, this gel is just so, I don't know about nourishing to the hair, but it is not drying at all. And it, I, I can't believe it doesn't flake. That's why I stopped using gel years ago because it flaked and um, it had alcohol in it. So it dried your hair out. I mean, it just was not healthy for our hair. But this one is actually alcohol free. It says it right on the container. And this part right here doesn't have to be perfect because the ponytails are gonna cover that up. This is my hair tie that I've been using for a couple years now. I really need to buy some new ones, but this one works so well. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, I'm gonna let this set, do my makeup, and come back and finish this look. So don't go anywhere. Stay right where you are. All right, so it's been about two or three hours. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ponytails on. I couldn't wait any longer. Oh, look at that. Look at the waves, honey. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, I love that Eco Styling Gel. It's awesome. So this is what the ponytail looks like once you cinch it down. And all the hair around the perimeter covers the entire ponytail holder. So it cinches down really uh, nicely. Cinch it down, nice and tight. You see how long the tail is. So that should give me a nice tight wrap. And the ponytail holder comes with combs, but I don't really feel like you need a comb. But unless you're gonna be twerking at the club and dropping your head low, you're not gonna need it. Judge it based on your activities for the night, okay? This is what she looks like. This style kind of reminds me of a little girl from Boondocks. <laughs> I always thought homegirl was fly though, okay? <laughs> so it's perfect. So here you have it, ladies. A cute, easy style you can rock anytime you're in the mood. Because we crochet the hair onto a ponytail holder, you can rock this out anytime you want to, and you can remove it at night to sleep. So way more convenient than actually crocheting the hair onto your natural hair. I love this look for summer. Just funky, Afro chic. Definitely a statement hairstyle. If you wanna make a statement and make a proper entrance when you walk in the door, this look will definitely say everything that needs to be said. So in honor of Women's History Month, I am dedicating this style just to honor all the contributions that we as black women and women in general make to society. So do your thing, step out strong and proud, love who you are. I love my natural hair and that's why I'm starting to gravitate more towards the kinkier textures that actually mimic my natural hair. And really just a way for me to honor, you know, my culture, my ancestors, and love my hair and the skin that I'm in. So yeah, strong statement. I know I said a lot. All right, crew, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and hopefully this look inspired you to create your own ponytail styles. Uh, make sure you tag me on Instagram if you do. Our options are limited by our own creativity, so I'd love to see what you guys come up with too, all right? All right, make sure you subscribe, join the crew before you get out of here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. And since you're already here, make sure you check out the first video in the series at Afro's Trendy Twist in 24 inches.